Hey guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your brand new laptop from start to finish. This is gonna be a beginner's guide, so if you kinda know all the details already, feel free to skip around. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That'll help me out super much. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to plug it in and make sure to use the charger that comes with your laptop. I can't stress that enough. Now, before I actually get into that, one thing that I need to mention that still happens a lot is there's a huge question on, do you need antivirus? Do you need to buy antivirus for your laptop? If you just purchased a brand new laptop and you're wondering, no, you do not, okay? Windows 10 or 10S comes with antivirus protection built into the uh, software. So you don't have to worry about that at all. If you bought it, return it, it's a waste of money, okay? There are certain applications where you might need it, but 99% of the time, you do not need it. Sorry, salespeople, you don't need it. Anyways, let's move on. First things first, plug the PC or, or your laptop in with the charger that came with the laptop. Can't stress that enough, you will ruin the battery if you charge it with a different charger. Next step is obviously power it on. Mine's already powered on. And you should be greeted with a, a screen that looks like this. Continue in selected language, right? So just pick your language, whatever's available. Uh, for us, it's English, United States. Click yes. We're gonna go to the next step. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. Okay, so Cortana will talk to you. She's kind of like Siri or Google, whatever is out there. So if you want it, to, if you want her to not talk during this process, you can just click that microphone button right there. And um, then you'll go to the next screen. So you're gonna select your region, in this case, United States, select yours, click yes, moving on. Keyboard layout, ours is US, again. These are regional things, so skip you can add uh, another layout for your keyboard if you prefer next go ahead and select your wi-fi or if you can connect it to ethernet if that's what you prefer i'm gonna go ahead and do this wi-fi there we go we are connecting of course i didn't get it right this is just asking do you want to allow your pc to be discoverable discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network, which usually just means that if you have wireless printers and stuff like that, uh, you'll wanna select yes, unless this network is not secured, such as a public network or whatever, but in this case, it is secured, it's my home Wi-Fi. We are connected. Click next. Now most of the stuff, they're gonna guide you. They're gonna tell you what they're doing and all of that. So in that case, what do you need me for, right? No, I'm just kidding, keep watching, please. <laughs> All right, so Windows license agreement, feel free to read it if you want. Click accept. And this is where the questions start to come in. Now, do you need a Microsoft account to set up Windows 10? Technically, no, you do not. Um, however, personally, I do highly recommend it. And there's a few reasons. First of all, using OneDrive, which is a storage uh, platform for your photos and stuff like that. It's a cloud storage, kind of like iCloud or uh, again, Google. I'm not sure what theirs is. Google Drive, I think, or Google Photos. So this one's so much better. I do have a dedicated video showing OneDrive in action. I will link that at the top of this video and down in the description if you're interested in that. Now, moving on, if you don't have a Microsoft account, a Microsoft account is basically Outlook, Live, uh, so it's an email account that says like whatever at outlook.com or live.com or hotmail.com. I'll list some of them on, on screen so you, you kind of know if you have it or not. But if you don't have one or you want to start fresh with a new one, go ahead and create an account. In my case, I do have an account. So go ahead and click next once you got that and then go ahead and input your password. Again, go ahead and click next once you got your password in there. You can go ahead and create a pin for easier access into your PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and make mine. And if you want it to be a little more complex, you can uh, do a, uh, you can check mark this box right here, uh, include letters and symbols. 
I'm just gonna make a four digit pin because that way it's much easier. Now these are your privacy settings. You can look at each one individually and change them. Uh, for example, one thing that I usually turn off is advertising ID. I don't care for personalized advertising and stuff like that. And um, any less information I can give them is better for me. <laughs> but if you wanna keep all of them on, that's perfectly fine. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna keep them all on just to move forward. Click accept. And now we're greeted with this screen. You might not have this in your uh, experience, but if you got a gaming laptop like this or a productivity laptop, which is what I call these, you might see this. They give me some options, gaming, creativity, family, stuff like that. You can skip this all together and it'll just default to the basic Windows 10. This just kind of, in a way, tells Microsoft what you're into and then they will show advertisements based on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set it up as creativity and gaming um, and I guess entertainment and just click accept. Again, you can skip this, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect anything. Here's another thing you can do. Use your phone from your PC. They kind of are pushing this as, as in like they're trying to advertise this to everybody as hard as possible. That's why they have a remind me later or a skip for now, which is basically a remind me later. Kind of weird. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and skip this because I don't even think that supports iOS or iPhone. So this part of the uh, setup process, if you see the screen, this is quite important actually, because if you, if you click only save files to this PC, then what's going to happen is some folders, such as your pictures folders, your videos folders, your music folders, and all of that will only save the files to your PC, so it won't use your cloud storage, like I mentioned earlier with OneDrive. It defaults to save everything to OneDrive, but I will not, I will not recommend doing this because if you wanna set up OneDrive, which will be set up already, I suggest having separate music, video, uh, all those other files, documents, important stuff, uh, save to OneDrive, so it'll be a separate folder from your typical folders. So I click only save to this PC. That's my recommendation for you. Your device is even better with Microsoft 365. Uh, if you buy a subscription, you get one terabyte of cloud storage. Again, I go over this in my OneDrive video that I linked earlier, so feel free to watch that after you get this all set up. Let Cortana help you get things done. So I always click accept, you can you can skip that step. It's not a big deal. Cortana, like I said, is your personal assistant like Siri. So I find that I don't really use it too often on PC, but it it's nice to have. Now they're just going over uh, all your applications and everything, kind of reinstalling things, maybe doing some background updates. And speaking of updates, once this is fully loaded up, you wanna go into your settings, and I will show you this. You wanna go into your settings and update, update, update. That's very important because if you don't update, you'll notice that your PC runs a little weird, and uh, that's because you know the updates are old. And there we go, we are in. That was the final step to get in here. Microsoft Edge opens up. Again, if you want, you can download Google Chrome. That is your choice. I personally uh, use Microsoft Edge on PC. So go ahead and close out Microsoft Edge. Now, like I said, we're gonna go into settings. So you click your Windows button at the bottom left corner. Hover over this button right here and it should pop up that it's settings. Click on settings. So once you're in here, go ahead and click on updates and security. No updates available. Go ahead and check for updates. And as you can see, a bunch of updates popped up and there's one down here uh, that we can choose to install as well. So we're gonna go ahead and let all of the updates install. So there you can see it says restart required. Go ahead and click restart now and it's gonna go ahead and restart installing all those updates. And then basically once this restarts, uh, we're gonna go back into the settings and back into the updates and finish installing all the rest of the updates. Well, now that your updates have finished installing, your PC was restarted, 
feel free to go double check your updates and all of that uh, to make sure that there are no more updates because sometimes there will be in this case everything's installed everything's good to go I'm ready to use this laptop exactly how I want and um, that's all I got for you in this video that's pretty much step by step how to set up your laptop I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up that helps me super much with all that being said thank you guys so very much for watching I will see you in the next one peace